Hello, good morning friends. Welcome back to your favorite channel Code One Digest. In this video, we will discuss what is interpreter design pattern. Where to use interpreter design pattern in our project. I will also show the Java code implementation of interpreter design pattern. At the end, we will discuss the benefits of interpreter design pattern. Friends, in the previous video, we discussed about memento design pattern. Can you explain what is memento design pattern and where can you use it? Please reply your answer in the comment section. If you have not seen the previous video, so I recommend you to go and see that video. The link is given on your screen and also provided in the description section of this video. Just to recall the memento design pattern. Memento design pattern lets you save and restore the previous state of an object. For more information, please see the previous video. Friends, before we proceed in this video, I want you to subscribe my channel to grow Code One Digest family. Friends, I am creating a lot of quality contents for you, but I am not getting subscribers. I want you to like, share, and subscribe my channel so that I can grow Code One Digest family. Thank you. Okay, so let's start with the interpreter design pattern. What is interpreter design pattern? Interpreter design pattern is one of the behavioral design pattern. Interpreter pattern is used to define a grammatical representation for a language and provide an interpreter to deal with this grammar. The interpreter pattern specifies how to evaluate sentences in a language. This pattern involves implementing an expression interface which tells to interpret a particular context. This pattern is used in SQL parsing, symbol processing engine, etc. An interpreter pattern says that to define a representation of a grammar of a given language along with an interpreter that uses this representation to interpret the sentence in language. Grammar are mapped to the classes to arrive to a solution. For instance, 7 minus 2 can be mapped to a class minus. The two different components of interpreter patterns are context and logic. Context contains the data and logic part contains the logic which will convert the context to a readable format. This pattern performs operation upon a hierarchy of expressions. Each expression here is a terminal or a non-terminal component. Here is the hierarchy of expression plus minus 987. You can see on your screen how it is structured in a tree. Now let's understand interpreter pattern with an example. The example what you see on your screen, we have broken a date format into four components, month, day, year, and a separator. For all these four components, we will define separate classes which will contain the logic. There are two types of classes. One is expression classes, which contains the logic, and other is the context classes, which contains the data. So what we have done is we have defined all the expression parsing in a different classes. All these classes inherits from a common interface that is class abstract expression with a method evaluate. The evaluate method takes a context class which has the data. This method parses data according to the expression logic. For instance, class year expression replaces the y y y y with the year value and class month expression replaces the m m with the month value and so on okay friends now let me show you the code of interpreter design pattern what i have done is i have prepared a code for you interpreter design pattern i'll walk you through this code first and then i'll run and give you the demo friends i have shared this code in my github repository you can download this code and play with it. The link of my GitHub repository is shown on your screen. Just use that link to download the code. And also the link is available in the description section of this video. Let me show you what I have done. I have an interpreter package where I have all the classes of this demo. I have defined one abstract class. We call it uh, class abstract expression. 
in this class i have one string type of data and i am having a method evaluate so i am taking an example of our date that means date month and year and using a different expression how can we display the same date in a different different format it's very simple implementation of our date format in java this is abstract class and i have three implementation of it so one is day class day expression it is extending that abstract expression where in a constructor i'm initializing the data and i'm overriding i'm implementing that evaluate method where i'm i'm passing a context here context is nothing but my data my object i'm retrieving an expression from it and here at this point i am replacing the dd with data and setting that in my expression of this context same thing i am doing for month but here i am replacing mmm in the data okay and same thing i am doing it for year replacing it with data now let's see what is there in context object so in context i am having one string a string expression a string expression is nothing but in a format in which format we want to see a data so this context will have that information that in which particular format i want to see a data i have a constructor and i have a getter set of that expression now i have written a test class let's see what we are doing in test class so in test class i am defining our expression this is our first expression that is ddmmyyy i want to see my data in this format and this is my actual data day is 22 month is june and year is 2022 now using this data and using this expression i can format this data this particular date into this format this first expression i also have defined a second expression where i'll reformat the same date into this format we will see both of that so this is my first expression this is my data and i am calling this method this is the local method where i am passing this expression and date month year now in this method what i am doing is i am creating an instance of my context i am passing that my expression here so that it knows key how i have to format my data now i am i am splitting that expression with a space so that i have dd mm and yy separate in three different component in this array and then i am iterating it here i'm checking if a string has dd then create one instance of day expression by passing the day and day is nothing but our day then if it is mmm then i'm creating an instance of month if it is yy then i'm creating an instance of year and passing the year once this is done when this loop is executed i'll call expression list dot add new cls separator expression because here our separator is space now i'm looping this list and evaluating calling the evaluate method of all and then finally i'm printing how my date is got formatted so i'm doing this first for my expression first and then here i'm doing it for expression 2 let me run this and show you how that works so do you see that our context expression is ddmmyyy and whatever data we are giving as an input it got formatted into this expression 22nd june 2022 then our second expression was yyyy mmm dd so our date got formatted into 2022 june 2022 like this right easy so you may have a scenario where you want to create a parser there you can use this pattern so friends you may ask where to use interpreter pattern what is the use case of interpreter pattern so you can use interpreter pattern whenever you want to evaluate data for different expressions whenever you want to create parser to parse statements to take inputs that time you can use interpreter pattern 
whenever you want to develop an interpreter for new sign language to process user provided inputs that time you can use interpreter pattern so what are the advantages we get from interpreter pattern it is easy to change and extend the grammar it is easy to implement the grammar and is easy to add a new way to interpret expressions friends now let me summarize what we learned in this video we understood what is interpreter pattern we saw a real example of interpreter pattern we also saw java code implementation of interpreter pattern and we saw the use cases of interpreter pattern and at the end we discuss the benefits of interpreter pattern friends let me know if you have already used this pattern in your project or come across a scenario where this pattern can be useful please reply in the comment section with your answer in the next video we will cover iterator design pattern so we will learn what is iterator design pattern we will see the usage of iterator design pattern we will also see a java code implementation of iterator design pattern and we will understand the benefits of iterator design pattern so stay tuned for the next video and do subscribe to the code one digest channel and be part of code one digest family friends if you like this video so give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for the more interesting videos click on the bell icon for the latest video notifications and do not forget to share this video with all your friends and colleagues this is very useful information for students beginners and software engineers i am putting a lot of efforts in creating this contents so please help me growing the code one digest family please subscribe to code one digest channel for the latest programming and technology related videos thank you